Bitcoin is such a strong infrastructure, cryptographically decentralized, and, and that it is the best store of value technology in the world. And it will suck out a lot of the monetary premium we have in all these different assets and concentrate it into this digital store of value and will become the, the dominant global store of value. Fiat world is just evaporating itself. Like they, they can't resist printing money and they're destroying the fiat currencies, the, the, the value of it. And hyperbitcoinization will bring some sort of sanity back into it just by introducing uh, real interest rates again in Bitcoin. Because I think like if you start manipulating interest rates and bringing them to negative as we have it in Europe and, and in a lot of the bonds market, then um, you're, you're changing the incentive structure on a very fundamental level for the, for the whole society and for the whole humanity. So people start consuming their, their, all their future income. And in, now they, they, they drive way too big cars because the leasing rates are too cheap. They start building uh, a lot of real estate. I'm, I'm currently in Panama here. If you go to the uh, and see the apartments building here and you really check every night whatever and where the lights are on you can see that probably a third or the half of the buildings are actually empty like there's nobody living in there so there's a lot of misallocation of capital and hyperbitcoinization will reintroduce hard money again and sound money and will force people to um, correct their economic calculation and financial calculations again And then you have to ask yourself, in a hyper-Bitcoinized world, you will still have um, companies and, and uh, infrastructure projects which will need cop capital, which have to raise equity and, and issue bonds to finance their, their plans and their operations and, uh, and their business development. You have to ask yourself, where do we, uh, where do we raise capital the best? And the best uh, location for me is like something which is very native to bitcoin which uses bitcoin as its native token and is as close as possible to this central global store of value you want to have at least friction you want to raise capital there and then maybe restructure around these financial products to bring it into the traditional markets is really El Salvador at the moment. It was an amazing week. I just can tell everybody like, this is it. This is, this is amazing. And on the technical side, we see the Lightning Network really becoming what it's promised to be. Um, I think Liquid is just early and we, we have to keep developing this. So I'm, I'm very excited for all of that. We, we have a great tool here to fix the, the, the money layer and we have a really good shot at it now. We can change a lot of stuff here and improve a lot of stuff and build an alternative financial system. And that's what I signed up for four years ago. It's great to be uh, on that mission with, with all the other Bitcoiners and to, to come to these conferences also and, and see, okay, I, I'm not alone in my strange room here. And there's a lot of people out there working on this together. And uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a great experience to, to, to be on that mission.